Sometimes services will stop and you won't realize it until you try to go to use whatever that service is running. So let's go to services, click on the search button and type in services. And this also works on Windows 10 as well. And then you can click open. And you might want to choose run as administrator if you're not already an administrator on that computer. Then what you want to do is choose the service that you would like to have automatically restart. I'll just randomly pick one here double click on it and then choose recovery. Now you can see after the first and second failure, it's going to automatically restart that service. So what you can do is you can choose any subsequent failures to also restart that service. And then you could choose, if you don't want to do it that way, you could just choose take no action. You could choose the reset fail count after X amount of days or restart the service after X amount of minutes. And there's an option to enable actions for stops with errors. And that's where you might end up running a program in case that service stops. But the easiest thing to do here is to just choose to restart the service and it will always keep restarting. And you might notice there's some log files that might tell you why it is the service keeps stopping if you go into Event Viewer and then go into the System Logs. I'm going to apply it and click OK. And now if that ever stops in the future, it will go ahead and automatically restart. The other thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that its startup type is set to automatic. If not, then you're never going to get it to start unless you manually do it.